This week we have a budget template that is going out. I kept it very simple here. This is just an annual budget template broken down by month. Now, the reason I think this is going to be a useful exercise is we are taking an existing Excel template, one that comes with Excel, and customizing it to meet our needs. This is a really, really good skill to have and helps you practice all sorts of information design skills just around choosing what metrics to emphasize, which ones to put up top higher on the page, how to visualize them, etc. So I think the most effective way to learn from this is to go into Excel. You can go to File, New from Template, and take a look at some of the budget templates in here. I used a, uh, I think this is a business expense budget that I found in here. Let's see if I can find it again. Here it is, business expense, bu expense budget. Now, I just chose this mainly because of the way that it's structured. Wanted something that was monthly across the course of a year. But of course, this is business expenses, not personal expenses. And we're going to be adjusting this to personal expenses because I get a ton of requests for personal budget templates here on the channel. So in this example to start, all I really did is I removed all the logos, the extra text, remove any of the extra sheets, and then I updated all the expenses to not be so business focused, to focus more on regular personal expenses. Once it was cleaned up, it looked a little like this. Obviously I changed some of the colors and the structure, but we had our basic framework already. What I was thinking is that there were two views of the data that are probably most important to people. One is our current month. Month to month, a lot of us are worried if we're gonna break even or not. So that was where I started. And then I think people also wanna snap shot of the year based off of their projected expenses. How am I going to come out at the end of the year? Where are things trending, etc. The problem was in the original template, there was no way to kind of look at or select the current year. So that's the main piece of functionality we added in. So what we have down here is a drop down list. It is a validation uh, drop down list, which you can find by just going to the data tab, clicking data validation, and then in this menu going list and then with source selecting the range of cells that have the value you want included in the list, in this case months. And that'll give you a nice clean drop down menu. So this is helpful because now we have a set of values people can choose from that we know will match the set of values here. And all we've done is right next to this, we've hidden a few little X lookups. So how are these hidden? Well, all we've done is just entered in a font color that matches the background, so you can't see them. But what these are doing is saying, so these are just a series of X lookups, and they're just saying, hey, look at the cell with our drop-down list of the month. So look at the current month, then go across our list of months and find that month and get the corresponding value from the row that includes the either income, expenses, or balances. So we have three of them. One X lookup is for income, one is for expense, and one is for balance. The reason these are hidden is because we're gonna actually use them up here. No point in highlighting them down here at this point or, or duplicating them again. And to pull them up into this upper section, we've just done a couple things. These are just text boxes that point to the cells. I'm sure everybody who's watched the videos knows how to do this already, but you just click into your text box, go to your formula bar, hit equals, and then select the cell you want and hit enter. And that is going to link this text box to the cell. So whenever the cell updates, the text box updates. The other thing we have here is just a simple chart that is pointing to those three cells. Nothing fancy here, but it's just a quick way at a glance to see what's my income, what's my expenses, what's my balance at the end of each month. If I wanna change the month, I can change it and the data will update accordingly. We did the same thing over here with our annual totals. In my mind, when you're using a report like this, you're probably gonna first be saying, where am I at right now for the month? And then the secondary thing you're gonna do is go and see how you're doing for the year. And that's obviously the totals, that's gonna be important, but I think showing it plotted over time is a good idea in most cases. People just like to know what direction they're going in. It's a great way to highlight if my expenses are skyrocketing at a particular time of year. There's just lots of valuable insights you can grab from something like this. The only other part of this is just a shape as the background. We just used a dark blue in the background here. We could have done this by changing the background color of the cells, but in this case, I wanted a little shadow on it. And so what I did is I just inserted a nice big red rectangle and then over here in our format shape menu I just added a shadow to it. You've got a nice clean annual personal budget here. This is something that's simple. The design could be adjusted however you need it to be adjusted for your situation. It's fairly professional and if you wanted to update this for literally any kind of budget you probably could without it being too difficult. Anyway that's it for now everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you got any questions just let me know in the comments. I'll be back soon more. Have a good one.